my head, just adding a double head, keeping the pause, even keeping my emotions high, playing and playing like physical. Mm -hmm. But it was good to have that great game against that team. I think you had that big uh, targeting call, you know, in that fourth quarter. Um, did you feel like you were targeted? Did you feel like they, they hit you above, above the waist, or above the shoulders? I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I've I seen it, but I, mean, that's, I can't control that. They, they call that. But it was pretty hard hit. <laughs> <laughs> so were you surprised with kind of the way people reacted to the targeting? Because, I mean, I obviously you expect fans to be disappointed, but to see it go to that length, were you a little bit surprised? I mean, I, I, I expect that from that from that team, from their fans, because that's what they do. And, I mean, rival game, they would do stuff like that. But Miami doing stuff like that, I mean, that like, year that was, I think my sophomore year, they was rocking the bus. We ain't, we haven't even played yet. <laughs> they was spinning on the bus. And then after after that game, Saturday, they were even spinning, they were spitting we was going into the locker room and throwing stuff to steal. So you said spitting or? They were spitting. Like, they literally, like, spit on you yeah. guys as you were going in the locker room. They didn't spit on me, but they were spitting, like. Oh, okay. When dude was spitting, like, I, like, seen you. <laughs> he was talking crazy. Just walked in, though. Like, like, what's the weirdest thing you guys have had happen to you? Because I forgot. I think it might have been Quez last year, who I think he said, like, his freshman year, like, someone threw a cup at him or some soda at him in a game when you guys were on the road. Like, what's the weirdest thing you've had happen or seen from fans that just made you go, like, okay, it, it, it's not like that. It's not that severe. Uh, that game. That's the that's the first thing I seen that game. It's some crazy it's some crazy fans over down there. <laughs> they were purposely trying to like, actually spit on you guys or they're just spitting toward you or what? You know how you walk you know how you walk in the tunnel? Mm -hmm. Like fans, I got your little seats on top of us. Yeah, yeah. They seen us coming, like it's like it was trying to time it. Oh. So it can land on right at one of us. I got you. But you know, nobody not gonna just look straight ahead. They gonna look and see they see like no family members out there. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking and it was like and dude just spit and he was like like, literally, it's really? like, I, like I seen it, like I seen it happening. So I just stopped for it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it got on me. Uh -huh. It was just the one guy you saw do that? Yeah, it was one guy yeah. I seen do that. I don't know what it was doing all around, mm -hmm. but they were there. I seen him do that though. What differences have you seen in DeAndre's leadership from day one until today? Uh, day one, I mean, he, he, he's grown. I've seen a lot of progress and become more vocal and stuff like that, working with guys and, and talking to them and like, like, physically, like, on a, like watch film. And he'll just say stuff like, oh, you could have just did this, you could have did this better, stuff like that. So the next game will be on point. When he's taking charge like that, when he's, you know, being vocal and he's, he's speaking up, you know, what's your reaction to that at first? Is it kind of, can gotta, you surprise or do you kind of welcome in it and try to make him more comfortable with when he's Yeah, you got to make him more comfortable. We got he's a young guy, so we got to take care of him. But yeah, it, but feeding off his energy is always a good thing that we, we need to do, always do. Mm -hmm. So he, if he's doing good, we all going to pick it up and feel the energy. Speaking of that, you know, seeing him take those hits in the game and just getting back up and wanting to get back in the game, you know, what does that mean for a player like you on offense? That means a lot because it shows that being, if it's being, he can be tough. He can take hits and later uh, and make the right target. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when I uh, when I got hit, like I ain't want to, <laughs> I want to stay down, but like <laughs> I got back up. Like, I get so fast because for that, mm -hmm. I don't want to be that guy to just lay down on the ground and be embarrassed. I'd be that. Like, say if we had lost that game, like, it would make some part of, it probably would have been some bad. Mm -hmm. But good thing I got up. Yeah. And they called a the target and it, it pushed the game, pushed us more yards, get the first down. When your teammates see plays like your, your play and plays like DeAndre getting hit, do you think that makes you all just want to play harder for each other, man? Uh, yes, now we know what to expect now. Like, so we, we'll be ready for them hits and not worry about them hits as, as well. So we already got our hits out of the way. I mean, they might come again, but still, we already got that one out of the way. Yeah. So we're just going to keep playing hard. Something Freddie said was, Wake's kind of been a team that historically, at least since he's been here, there's always kind of been struggles with. Why, why do you think that is? Because Freddie's point was, guys know how good they are, and like, they are a hard team. He's like, in some ways, they're kind of a more physical team than Boston College. What do you think it is that's been where Wake's not that team you can just put away like that, where they kind of just last and last and last? Is that Wake? Wake. Wake, Wake. Forest. Uh, I really don't know. I mean, they, they, they is kind of physical. And they play hard because they always, I mean, everybody going to play hard against us. But that's what happens. So they're going to try to bring it to their best game. But they've been playing, they've been playing very good this uh, past five, six weeks. What, do you, what have you noticed about them from since you played them last year through now on film? Um, that they, uh, they, uh, the D-line, the offense is uh, 
Cause they're scoring points, and they playing they playing together now. It's not that they had that one guy that that stand out, but they all playing together.